Hey everyone, Mtash here with my first ever lore video. Today I wanted to talk about the thorn because it's one of the most popular uh, topics in Destiny. People hate it, people love it. Thorn is, uh, is one hell of an exotic gun that I think people are probably going to be very interested on where it actually came from. It used to dominate the Crucible with two-shot headshots, an amazing amount of burn damage and frustration surrounding it. So let's get started. As many of us know, the Thorn is a Hive creation. It came from the Wizards, and it is a powerful artifact for the Hive. But you can also see that a Warlock is wielding it in this situation. This leads me to believe that these guys are the cancerous fucks in the Crucible that are always pulling it out in Rumble. After playing a few games today to confirm it, I realized that yes, Warlocks do end up using it much more than every other class in the game. If we use a series of deductive exponential theories, it's very obvious that both Warlocks and Wizards are related, thus imbuing the power of the Thorn within the curriculum. So, we need to dive deeper into this. The Hive are one of the most prominent enemies in the Destiny universe. Many of you know this, but what you didn't know is that they like BDSM. If you look at the Acolyte's arm, you can see a nail sticking right through it. What most people don't know is that the Thorn was created not as a weapon, but as a peace gesture from the Hive to the human colonies. They wanted to elicit the same sexual response that getting a nail in the arm gives to them. So they made Thorn with its giant fucking bullets as the ultimate gift for humanity. Unfortunately, we aren't alien freaks, so these giant thorny bullets poisoned us, killing many guardians. We saw this as an act of war, and we pushed in to start assaulting Crota. Upon hearing this, Crota and Oryx, the other hive guy, decided that it was time to put an end to us guardians and revamped the thorn altogether. The father and son duo wanted to create a weapon of mass destruction, so they looked to their wizards. Weird crystal space magic, as well as our human technology to create the perfect weapon. What they got was a devastating blow to the human race. By looking at Hawkmoon, the once master of PvP, Oryx realized the key components to making an annoying gun. He looked at the spikes that were on the weapon, near the top and bottom, and decided, we need more of those. And when looking at the ability to two-shot kill with the Hawkmoon, he said, Fuck yeah! Let's do that all the time! So for the next nine weeks, Oryx, Crota, and a mismatch of players from Destiny LFG completed the Vault of Glass over and over again, praying to the Lord that they would get a Hawkmoon for themselves. Upon receiving this mythical gun, they placed it within a thrall pool, waiting a fortnight to see what would emerge. As time passed, Oryx reached into the pool, pulling out the bastard child of Hawkmoon and Firebolt grenades. That's right. This gun not only two-shot kill, but would burn its victims to the crisp. Not only was it the power, two-shotting ability of Hawkmoon, but it had more spikes on it than I dare to count. Range, damage, spikes, burn. This gun was an abomination, abomination, abomination. Abomination, it. fuck me. Abomination. <clears throat> the gun was an abomination, and Oryx wouldn't see it any other way. 